headlines. Following shutdown and economic blockade, people throng oil pumps to buy fuel. Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. Let's see the news in detail. Many people rushed to various oil pumps since last night out of sheer panic that petrol and diesel will not be available following the 24-hour total shutdown in all tribal inhabited areas of the state and 10 days economic blockade on national highways called by many tribal organizations that are against the three bills of ILP. Since early morning today, amidst the rain, people were seen standing in long queues to refill petrol and diesel. Upon inspection by a team of ISTV News, some petrol pumps were found to be shut down with nil written. On the other hand, no announcement has been forthcoming from the side of the government and the department concerned as to whether there is adequate stock of fuel or not. United Maitai Young Forum stated in a press release that calling 10 days economic blockade on national highways by the JAC of Churachanpur is highly condemnable. It is tantamount to giving untold hardship to people as a whole. The agitation launched against the three ILP bills by the JAC is highly condemnable. It is informed that the forum will not remain silent over the matter. The health condition of Secretary of Nainashang Club, Tera Lokrakpam Lekai, Subhash Maibam, who has been undergoing a fast protest showing solidarity to the JCILPS movement and demanding the release of the arrested students without any condition since June 4 at Nainashang Community Hall has been deteriorating. Imphal West CMO medical team arrived at the spot and picked him up for further medical attention at JNIMS. After he was taken away by the medical team, a meeting was held at the club, attended by many people of the area and several resolutions taken, among which it was decided that the people of the area will extend all assistance to the family of Subhash and face any untoward incident faced by him. The blocking of Tera, Laukrakpam Lekai Road and Takel Industrial Road, which have been continuously blocked by people of the area, will be lifted in view of the upcoming June 18 commemoration. It is informed that all forms of agitation launched by JCILPS will be actively supported by the people of the area. Father of late Robin Hood, who laid down his precious life for the sake of his motherland during the ILP movement, told the ISTV News today that the Government of India's act of denying assent to the three bills is tantamount to paving the way for the extinction of the indigenous people of Manipur. This is highly condemnable and misleading the people. Among the three bills, the information that two bills have been withheld for discussion is like controlling the people's movement for a temporary matter. Even though the official rejection letter has been received on May 11, the act of the government of keeping it confidential and calling for an all political parties meeting at Delhi is highly condemnable, he said. <laughs> Yang Kupna Kanagini in a Hyrapasidi, a Koyi, Taidu Oga Yararo, Hyragadi, Irang, Siam Sakorakani, Natraga, Kaigumba, Port Ama Tolopaya, Hibigi, Matagumna, Taidu Oga Tamaga, Masigi Bill, and Isisu ID Yarak Aroena, Igi Sagi, and a Dimotrina, Tamjage. He further stated that as Robin Hood's death anniversary is approaching, the place where his last rites were performed, namely Awa Ching, should be cleaned up for the observance of the day. He appealed to the state police not to use excess power against the agitators. He drew the attention of the government to execute all possible ways to enact the three ILP bills. <laughs> Complexity, my amna, lakwa matamda, koi gi, ayi pamjabani ko. Aduga, 
Lining Thau Amudon Nupi Loop and Lining Thau Amudon Development Section of Youth today caught a married male and female from Ngangom Field in Uripok Sinam Lekai who were reportedly in a compromising condition inside a Tata Magic today. However, they were handed over to police, it is reported. Two ministers of the Narendra Modi government are at loggerheads over the proposal to sanction the killing of animals belonging to the endangered species. Union Women and Child Welfare Minister Maneka Gandhi has hit out at Environment Minister Prakash Javdekar, accusing him of giving sanction to state governments to kill animals including blue bull, nilgai and wild boar. The Environment Minister is writing to every state to kill whichever animal people want. In Bengal, he gave permission to kill elephants. In Himachal, he gave permission to kill monkeys. In Goa, it were the peacocks. The Chandrapur massacre involves killing of 53 wild boars and the permission for killing 50 more has been granted. His own wildlife department has said that they don't want to kill. Maneka's objection comes after the environment ministry allowed the culling of nilgai, wild boars, elephants, peacock and monkeys in different states. The demand to kill these animals was accepted on account of the damage they caused to crops, property and life. The ministry's memorandum passed in December 2015 states that wild animals which destroy crops should be treated as vermin. The ministry's move has drawn flack from animal rights groups. However, Javdekar said that man-animal conflict was on the rise and farmers were finding it tough to protect their crops and property. According to law, if farmers are suffering and their crop is being damaged and state government sends a letter to the centre on the issue, then a decision is taken within the ambit of law. The action is taken in the legal framework in a scientific manner, Javdekar said. Maria Sharapova has been banned for two years by the International Tennis Federation for using a prohibited drug. The Russian tennis player was provisionally banned in March after testing positive for meldonium at Australian Open in January this year. The heart disease drug, which 29-year-old Sharapova says she has been taking since 2006 for health issues, became a banned substance on 1st January 2016. The five-time Grand Slam winner said she cannot accept the unfairly harsh ban and will appeal against it. Sharapova will now challenge the suspension at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. The headlines once again. Following shutdown and economic blockade, people throng oil pumps to buy fuel. Thanks for watching and do stay tuned for more updates.